Hey everybody, this is Perch. Hey, there's a lot of new people that have come to the channel over the last two months or so for one reason or another. And, uh, and I appreciate, by the way, all the people who showed up here. I appreciate the people who were guided here. Uh, a lot of people from different comic creators, from different YouTubers, uh, a lot of people have pointed folks at this channel for one reason or another. And I appreciate that. I appreciate, uh, thanks for the recommendation shout out. I'll try and do right by you guys uh, as best I can at some point. And then also, I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm learning about YouTube as we go. So part of this whole thing has been an experiment to kind of see what, you know, what, how you can get a message out, how you can do things. Uh, I'm learning. And as I'm learning, there's a lot of kind of craziness that goes on. I, I feel like the system that they built here is not particularly good. <laughs> wait, I don't wait, I mean, I, that's well, why not? I'll just say it that way. Um, for example, just so everybody knows, I don't delete comments uh, unless they really go to a pretty far extreme. Um, they that that doesn't happen. Now, I definitely try as soon as I catch them, delete all those. Uh, Do you love me? Uh, I am single. I need a boyfriend. Kind of spam. That that definitely go. I try and hide users as much as I can when I see them. That's like playing whack a mole. Uh, but generally speaking, unless you're really going hard, hard, hard in the paint at somebody else, uh, I don't I don't deal with. You know, deleting any of the comments, but I know that there is a lot that gets filtered, and I do. I did turn on the you know filter suspected spam, hoping that I'd catch the the sex bots, um, and it catches a few of them. But it every now and then, I and I'm never really sure why it catches uh, one of you, and then other times, um, it is it it has uh, other times things just vanish, and I don't know what to say. I've had some people reach out saying, "Hey, where did this? Where did my comment go?" I don't know. Uh, it didn't. It's not published. It's not in review. I don't know uh, is the answer. But overall, uh, if you're new to this channel, I want to explain a couple things about what it is I try and do here and 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 why. So first off, um, you know, I am a, I am a retailer. I, I'm I'm not ready to say former retailer yet because I am going to reopen my store. My store closed in November of 2019 with the intention it was going to move. I was getting out of a, a partnership and was ready to open up in March or so of 2020. Now, obviously the pandemic hit, I'm up here in the Pacific Northwest, that wasn't gonna be a go. And so I waited and waited. And now businesses can open up right now, but part of my business uh, is really intending to uh, provide smart lessons, do some things for kids. I'm trying to, I'm trying to actually do what I often say in my videos people should do, which is it's not all gonna be comics. I'm trying to diversify what it is I sell. So as you can imagine right now with uh, a pandemic and everything else, uh, nobody is wanting to just leave their kids in a store. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting, not patiently, uh, for the situation to kind of improve. But hopefully, very hopefully, in the early uh, part of the year, that will turn around. But that's the perspective I have. Now, I, if you've listened to enough of the videos, and I think people who have could attest and, and say, yep, this is true, I have a pretty you know, consistent uh, point of view that, that I think comes across, which is the retailer uh, should needs to work really hard. There's a lot that they need to do. There's a lot of understanding their audience, really coming to predict what it is that they, they will go for. It's time consuming. Um, I, at one point in a previous video, said I didn't like the hot dog vendor analogy and it got a bunch of people angry about it. And I, 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 in fairness, I don't always make my points in the best way. Um, but the reason why I was arguing against it is that it's 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 too complicated a job. It is something where you, you're if you're opening up a business, it's a big responsibility. You can't just kind of show up and say I've got you know in this case I've got a product, come and get it. You have to you have to really work with things. In fact, my my irritation sometimes with other retailers is there is too much of a well Marvel or DC will just tell me what to do. I can sit back and and just they'll they'll tell me what to do and then I'll put the stuff on the shelves and then why am I not rich you know and that that's an ongoing problem that I think a lot of folks have but at the same point and where the analogy I think the hot dog analogy does hold up is that whatever I think about comics and I have lots of opinions on comics I mean clearly from all these videos but one thing I don't get into very much in this channel is what I love and what I hate and I mainly because I don't think anyone, I, I don't want to inflict that on anyone else, you know? There's lots of comics I really enjoy, and I don't, I, 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 I can talk about why I enjoy them, but, you know, your mileage may vary. There's, there's, there's lots of different things out there, and it's up to you, ultimately, what you want to read and what you want to buy. And so to that end, as a retailer, not as a fan, but as a retailer, it's my job to connect you 
with what you want to buy as quickly and efficiently as possible. It is not my job to stand in the way and create friction. I just want your money. I, I want you to have a good time. I want you to want to continue to spend money and I want you to come back. And so that's, that's kind of my point of view and, and you'll hear it in almost all the different videos is I'll give you opinions, I'll give you analysis, I'll tell you why this, why that. But at the end of the day, um, all of my opinions on that analysis, all of my conclusions are relevant to you. It's your cash, it's your wallet. You've got to feel good about spending that or you're going to stop spending it. And it's, it's really none of, that part is none of my business. My business is to figure out what you want, maybe recommend new things you don't know that you want, but they fit within what you like and, and then, you know, provide it and get out of the way. That's, that should be how the business works. I have a deep frustration with both of the big publishers and, and certainly plenty of the indies as well, in that they come up with lots of reasons to get in the way of that chain. To, they, there's, they make it difficult when they don't need to. And in general, I, I'm a definite big believer in the market will decide. You put something out, works, great, you're successful. If, you, if you're really worried about something, if you think, oh, this isn't the right product and everything else, then it's up to the market. If the market rejects it, then, you know, great, you were right. But at the end of the day, it's up to the market. It's not up to you or me or any one person to gatekeep a bunch of comics. And I know that in the current comic, uh, the, the fandom or the customer base or the social media communities or whatever you want to call it, there's a lot of angst around this topic. And so it gets to kind of the, the last reason, uh, which I referred to why I made this channel. I had great conversations in the shop. I love talking to people in the shop. People come in, we'll have long debates over this or that. You've heard it referenced in many of my interviews I've done with people. I love that behavior and I think it's positive for comics. That kind of, it's, it's not an argument. It's, you know, it's basic stuff. I like it. And what I find is that online, and I think you've all seen it, uh, it's very hard to just have those comic chats. People get really pissy very quickly. It, it turns into a war. It's not, you know, hey, who's stronger, Hulk or Superman? It's like, oh, you picked Hulk. Well, you know, you must be an SJW. Oh, you picked Superman. You must be a Nazi. Do you know what I mean? It, it just, it quickly goes to like these super extremes that are, that, are, that, are, that are ridiculous. And I miss that conversation. And so a lot of what I do is I try and, I try and talk about things. I try and throw out topics. I'm expecting many of you will have different opinions, and that's cool. That's where the, the conversation comes in. I've been very fortunate to have a lot of great interviews from a lot of different people, and I'm hoping to have even more. And as I've, I've told people slash warned people, I'm going to try and get as many people as possible, including people you won't like. Um, I, it's, it's not to poke at you. It's not to come at you as a person. It's that I want to hear the perspective of lots of different people. That's what I think makes us stronger when you hear about it. It doesn't mean you have to agree with it. Hearing and listening is not agreeing. If somebody says something, it, it can be very, very educational, very illuminating to say, oh, okay, well, that's where that person is coming from. Oh, I'm, I know definitely to avoid their books now or to pick up their books, whatever it happens to be. I've done a lot of videos. I mean, we're well over, I think we're close to 2,000 videos at this point. Why so many? Um, I don't know. I, it's it shut down. And I'm going stir crazy. So, <laughs> so that's why um, I keep thinking I'm going to catch up to this point where I can start putting out less. I'm I'm being close. I record a lot of videos ahead of time. I will go out in the car to pick up stock or to uh, go you know buy out somebody's inventory or something else. I'll I'll do a nice two hour drive, and I will I will record like eight videos during that period. And it's okay, great. It is safe. You know, I've had a lot of concern trolling. It's safe. I'm not going to crash the car into somebody else talking about comics. It's hands-free. Everything's good. That's also, by the way, is a little, you know, it's a question many of you may have had as you've, as you've come to this more recently. It's why sometimes the audio is better and sometimes it's worse. You know, when I'm at my desk here, it's pretty okay. When I'm in the car, it sounds like a car and uh, it just is the way it is. <laughs> I don't know. I have attempted to put things in playlists as best as I can. Um, there's again, a lot of content and I welcome any suggestions anyone has for the channel. If it's easier to find stuff, cause right now there's just so much stuff. Uh, I definitely recommend people check out the interviews. I think there's some great ones in there from a variety of different voices and opinions. I recommend people check out the sales numbers. I think that's good for some history. And then depending on what you like, you know, if you're interested in character commentary, if you want to hear me slowly lose my sanity and soul by reviewing Iron Man 2020, it's all in there. So you can, you can go to it and grab it. 
Um, I'll say the same thing that I said two years ago when somebody asked. I'm not going to uh, shut somebody out because they are part of a group or not part of a group. Um, they, it, everybody deserves a chance to stand on their own opinion. If you come in, you act like a crazy asshole, then sure, you, you should be ignored. But if you come in and you, you have aligned with one comic group or a different comic group or another comic group, whatever it happens to be, let your words let your words stand for you, not your not whatever group you stand, whatever group you've pledged in the fraternity. I think your words matter, and so I, I've had lots of people uh, at different times say, "Hey, you should shut out these people completely." Uh, nope, I, I'm not interested in that. Uh, if, if that causes you to say, "Whoa, he's an enabler," and you want to walk away, it's your call, man. Totally your call. But uh, it is not my job. Again, just like a retailer, it's not my job to gatekeep one way or another. It's my job to serve stuff up and try and keep it as orderly as possible. Somebody takes off their pants. Yeah, they, they probably get thrown off if they, they, if they take off their pants. Depends on what's underneath those pants, really. Anyway, um, to all of you who are new to the channel, hey, I hope you enjoy it. I, I'm not going to, well, yeah, I, I hope you survive the experience. That's a very comic thing to say. There we go. I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. Super cheesy, lots of groans. There you have it. Hey, uh, I, like, subscribe. This would be a weird video to like or subscribe off of, but basically that's what it is we're offering here. Hope it works for you. Uh, I know some people have come over here recently because of the numbers video. They've blown up in a couple different places. People are routed over here. Um, I've, I've had comments like, why don't you do it every day? Because it takes work. <laughs> that's why. So about every two to three days, I'll throw up a new one. Uh, in the meantime, there's lots of other stuff. There's reviews. There's answering questions that people send me an email. There's interviews. There's retrospectives. Oh, that's the other one. The retrospectives playlist is definitely one to check out. There's some great stuff in there. Uh, my, my partner in crime, Joe Corallo, does a, an amazing job on those. And I, I just have a great time doing that. So enjoy those. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for listening.